you about how you can still experience your feelings and fears and still believe and know that your desire is already done. But before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And don't forget to hit the little yellow bell for notifications on when I have new uploads and go to rosylife.com. Check out my newsletter, subscribe. I send that out every week. And if you haven't seen it already, I just opened up the Leading Lady Academy and that is going to be for four weeks at a time. And I only take 10 or 12 women with me in that group at a time, or you can do the Leading Lady VIP Academy where you're working with me one-on-one. -on -one. Go to rosylife.com for more information on that. All right, so why I wanted to talk about this is because it is so important. So we talk a lot about feelings and feeling is a secret uh, with Neville Goddard and when we're manifesting things and the importance of feeling things. And what I notice is that I used to do this and I notice a lot of my clients are afraid of manifesting what they're feeling, what they're fearing more importantly, and what they're anxious and scared about. So I wanted to give you this little a tool to help you out on our not tool or just an idea of way to look at it, right? Because again, I hear this a lot about the fearing your feelings, all right? Well, first of all, you're in a human body. We're here to experience human emotions and all your feelings are okay. Feelings do come from your state or your identity, how you see yourself to be. A confident woman, for example, does not see herself as constantly anxious. That's a state, right? Uh, so, and she might sometimes, I'm not saying never, but it's not where she dominantly lies or rests in how she thinks, right? Somebody that sees themselves as a very insecure person, on the other hand, they will be in the anxious mode and they will be constantly doubting and questioning everything about themselves. So this is why it's so important to work on your self-concept. And that is what the Leading Lady Academy is about, is working on your self-concept. So, which is where it came from. Um, again, your feelings, all right? You need to experience your feelings. They're a part of your human body, all right? And what I want you to, uh, what I invite you to, to really play around with, and this is very powerful, all right, is that you can fear something, okay? You can f have those feelings of fear that I may not get my manifestation, that feeling of what if it doesn't happen, feeling alone, feeling scared, feeling like it's not working. Those are fears, okay? I want you to allow yourself to feel those fears, okay? But at the same time, you can go within and know and tell yourself and believe that your inner world, your inner reality, your imagination, right? is the only reality and that whatever you experience in here has to be pushed out, has to be pushed out into your 3D world. So if right now I'm experiencing fear about a manifestation, that's okay. Those feelings, those fears are caused from my earlier imaginings, my earlier assumptions. So they're being projected and I'm seeing them and I'm experiencing them. So when people also talk about, uh, about, you know, fear of manifesting those feelings, right? Look at, w look at what's in the world right now. Whatever you're fearing or feeling scared of, that is, has already manifested because you imagined and assumed something. So if you're feeling it right now, it's because five minutes ago or a second ago or a day ago, you were already imagining 
that fear that you're feeling right this moment, you had already manifested it. So what you're seeing and you're feeling and experiencing right now is not your next manifestation unless you keep assuming that it is. So again, if you're experiencing it right now in 3D, it's because you manifested it already and now you're experiencing it, that's okay. Every second we can, we can go into the now and decide what we want to manifest next, okay? So don't be afraid of the feeling that you're having right now because it's already an echo, you already manifested it. So just let the feelings pass, let them be there, it's okay and go back within and trust that whatever you experience in your inner reality, the only reality, like Neville says, is the one in our divine imag imagination. That's the only reality. So whatever you experience in imagination, right? I just like saying here because of it's our heart and our imagination and our mind, right? Whatever we experience in here, that is what is constantly being pushed out. So the more that you choose to trust in your inner reality, inner world, the more you choose that, and the more persistent you are with whatever that story is, whatever that manifestation is, it doesn't matter what it is, it's for all topics, okay? Specific people, money, jobs, cars, careers, all of it, right? The more that you persist in this and feeling this, and even though you've manifested some icky feelings, okay? Say, it's okay that I feel these feelings right now. I can feel these feelings right now and still believe and trust in my inner reality, in my inner imagination, in my inner world, whatever you wanna call it. Everybody has all these words for it, right? So you can still feel this out here and still believe and trust in the inner reality because you know what's out here. You already manifested it from previous thoughts. You don't have to react to those thoughts. You can respond to those thoughts, as I mentioned in my last video. I can respond or I can react to my feelings. I don't have to go swimming with them. I don't have to go like, go hang out in a jacuzzi and swim around with them and really feel them for hours and days, right? It's like, what story do I wanna give those feelings? And I'm telling you right now, <laughs> one idea is I already manifested this and that's why I'm feeling this, that's okay. Doesn't matter what I feel because whatever's in here in my inner reality, that's the only thing that's real. And I'm gonna persist in this and persist and persist and persist in feeling it, thinking it, you know, assuming it, it's mine until it has to project because what it'll do, it'll drown out everything you experience in 3D. But if you keep reacting to what you see in 3D, then you're just gonna keep uh, experiencing more and more and more of the same thing that you don't want. So don't be afraid of the negative feelings that you have manifested already. Don't be afraid to feel them, cry, you can get angry, you can feel anxious, you can feel stressed, whatever, and say, you know what, I already manifested this stuff, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let it right out. It's okay to have those feelings and still believe in your inner reality and that you are God and that whatever you experience in your imagination is what rolls. It goes well, this way, it never comes this way. It's always this way. It's never this way. So my feelings don't come in and do something, okay? It's just my imaginings push out, push out, push out. All right? All right, my loves, I hope this video was helpful. And please like and don't forget to go to rosylife.com and sign up for the newsletter and check out the VIP uh, Leading Lady or the Le Leading Lady Academy. All right, see you soon. Bye.